Okay. What's going on guys? So today we're gonna to separate all the babies. They have shed out and they're ready to, to eat. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I label them, how you know how I just set them up and stuff. Um, it's very important, especially for the guys that are just starting to breed and they don't have a system down. Um, it's very important to, to stay organized, you know. One thing is to stay organized with your keepers and with your personal collection. The other thing is to stay organized with a bunch of babies. Um, if you have one litter, it's doable. But when you start having one, more than one litter and you have people asking you for pigs, for prices and stuff like that, it can get a little tough. And so, so staying organized is, is very, very key. All right, so I'm gonna I'm take you guys, um, you know, with me to do this and um, show you guys everything, labels, everything I use. And if you guys have any questions, especially this is especially for the people that are just starting to breed and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's get started because it's gonna be a long night. Alright guys, so everything is set up, ready for babies, uh, very simple, just some aspen and water. Uh, with baby boys you really don't need that much, but um, I do know people and big breeders that actually they do uh, height uh, just to make them uh, feel a little bit more secure. Um, I do hides when they don't feed, so if I, I'm going to offer food tonight. If they don't fit tonight, I'll let I'll let it be until next next um, next week. If they refuse food next week, then I'll offer a hide and and you know just try again. But um, I ha I never have a problem. I've never had a problem with boas, um, baby boas. So I don't know. Anyways, um, all right, we're ready to get some babies in. Let me just clean some of this stuff out. And labels is going to be the labeling part is extremely important because that that way you're going to know what babies people are talking about and if they're inquiring and, and stuff like that. But that's just going to be a personal thing. I've done it all. I've done index cards. I've done sticky notes. I've done um, the blue tape. I've done. I literally done it all, and I just you know have a better way or a better way for me I guess so I went ahead and got a label printer and like I said this this is gonna be up to you guys uh, you guys you know you guys can see your favorite youtubers and learn from them and um, yeah you just gonna have to try everything and whatever works for you guys is the best thing to do all right guys so the first thing I do we're just gonna do one tub and then obviously the we're gonna do a timeline on the rest of the baby because shit, we would take hours. So here let me just do let me just put this guy right here and bring this bad boy. So this litter is either gonna be high pulse or normal and all of them are gonna be 100 percent head PPI and six and fifty percent head um, sterling. So it's gonna be fairly easy. Now if you start getting the, the four or five combo stuff, then that's gonna be a pain in the butt because then you're gonna have a bunch of genetics to write and stuff. So here's either normal or hypo. Um, I went ahead and did this ones because everything is the same. So this is the first piece of information we're gonna need. And it's the, um, basically the tag I don't know how well this thing is gonna show. Uh, is it? I don't know. Anyways, it's just a little tag. It's basically um, the I do it the, the initials of the of the parents. So like the, their parents was a hypo, 100% head sterling, and the male was a VPIT positive head for aneurysm. So I just put the initials like age, 
HS for hypo head sterling and you get the point. So alright, let's see. So this is what we'll do. Sorry about that guys, um, the batteries actually died and um, thankfully I had some, you know, some extra ones but anyway, so we got the tag of the, the first snake so now we're going to get one It really doesn't matter which one um at least I don't I don't care about it. But look at this beauty. I cannot show every single one though because look at that stripe. You're gonna tell me like not all one hundred percent had VPIT positive throw stripes. It has to be sterling, right? But it's impossible for me to label this thing as head sterling. But this animal right here, in my head, she's a lead, she's gonna be 90%. I'm 90% sure she's head for sterling. So it sucks that I didn't have the powerful male that I hoped to put on that female, and they have to be 50%. But I mean, with these stripes and the hypos are awesome. With these stripes, like. It's gonna be a gamble, but it's gonna pay off. I know it's gonna be pay off. Anyways, moving on. So the first baby, we sex it. That's the first thing we do with babies. I sex every day for the first seven days. Every day. Every time I come and check on them, I sex them, double check. This guy is a male. Yeah, male. I do three or four times. Male. Male. All right. So that guy, this guy is a normal. So I guess we're gonna pull out all the normals first. That way I don't have to rewrite, rewrite it on the um, on this thing. Uh, so like I said, it's gonna be easy. You see the normal hypo. So since we pull out a normal first, we're gonna pull out all the normals first. That way we don't have to retype it. All we have to do here is just change female or male. That's it. All right. So. He's a male, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do M for male, normal, or just to save some ink, let's just put head VPI 50%, 50%. Head sterling, head sterling, melt, and that's it. Print. Here we go. It's gonna be tedious, but once we're all done with this stuff, it's gonna be real good. So, you know, right now I don't look for keepers, I don't look for anything for sale, I don't even take pictures to, to, like, to put them out for sale. Uh, the first 30 days I really don't care about it, I just want everybody to eat. I want everybody to eat and obviously once you know, the, 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 the days progress, I'll start eyeing out who I want to keep and then I'll start marking them. And then in 20 to 25 days, 
I'll start taking pictures for them to go out for sale. Okay, and then, like I said, I've done the tagging stuff, I've done it all. I've done index cards, I've done, I even done um, digital. Shit, where is it? I'm going blind over here. I've even done like iHerb or whatever it is, like with the scan, with the scanning. In one liter, cool, you can get away with stuff like that, but when you have two or three or four liters or plus, you're gonna need the time because it takes a lot of time. All right, there it is. Yeah, let me bring you guys over here. Hopefully this video doesn't take, it's not, it's not crazy. focus up there you go all right so 2021 hypo has sterling to a T positive head for entering and that's baby number 11 okay and um, what the snake is and this is his feeding shark I only write down the dates if he didn't eat. If he doesn't, if he didn't eat, I will write down the date that he didn't eat. Put a mark on it that you know he needs to, he needs to you know keep an eye on because he's not feeding. If he did eat, just put a line and put a line, put a line, put a line, and just keep track of how many times he has eaten. And this is the best way. And once I figure out he's a keeper or not, if he's a keeper, then I'll make the sticky note, and then I'll. Pay more attention of pay more attention of how what he's doing, but if he's for sale, all I have to know is that he's eating and he's healthy. All right, so let's get this done, man, because I already see the times and this shit is gonna be long. Alright guys, finally the night got better. Um, I did get up and show you guys uh, another snake, but the music was playing, so I know YouTube was gonna not let me put it up. But this is the first female that to the eye, she could be and most likely will be head for Sterling. Everything is a fucking male, man. I'm very, very male heavy. 
I got some normals that are females, but I'm gonna have to go with the coloring on those because they don't have a lot of striping. They don't have they don't have nothing crazy that tells me, yes, that's a head sterling. But this female, she's a hypo, and look how beautiful this thing is. This and she has baby grays, so she's gonna color up very nice soon or like in the future. Let's go, baby! Finally! All right, guys, everything's done, finally. It only took us an hour and 40 minutes to two hours, I believe. Everything is just ready to feed, so after this little video, we are going to feed some snakes. And let me see if I can find some cool ones for you guys. Alright guys, so we're gonna try feeding these guys, hopefully they all eat, hopefully they're all hungry. Um, I did wait two or three days um, because I didn't have any mice in hand. Uh, I usually breed them and I have them in hand, but this time I didn't, so they should be hungry hopefully. I usually do it the first day they shed out and the first day that I, I um, separate all of them, but anyway, so I like to do, I like to do these little hoppers, let me see you guys, I don't know, I'm pretty far away. But it's just hoppers, my hopper mice, and it's live. I like to do live the first two or three, um, first two or three, three times, um, just to get them going with their, with their hunting instincts and stuff like that. But I have done it frozen from the get go, and some of them will not eat. Some of them will not eat um, live, but um, I have tried frozen and it has been okay. So I, I mean, honestly, I don't see any difference. But the last couple of years, I have been doing live for the first two or three meals. So let's let's start feeding these guys, and hopefully, I hear some you know some crying, and I'll show you guys who ate and who didn't. All right. Alright guys, so I usually do this at night, turn off the lights, go to sleep, next morning come in, check everybody that's eating or not and just mark them, but we're going to stick around so maybe I can capture some footage, um, I already know a couple of them eat, yeah, ate, so um, we are going to capture some a little bit of footage of, of babies eating or whatever, but um, the last thing there is to do is just grab a sharpie and mark who ate or not, which I already know that all these three ate, so I'll just put a line and keep in track how many times they've eaten and uh, after 30 days I'll start picking out my I'll start picking out my um, my keepers and separate them from the from the things that are gonna be for sale. Um, when you have a lot of letters like next year I'm gonna have to do like this wall. Yeah, let me show you guys some of my future plans. Excuse the mess, by the way. I was cleaning and feeding today. But this wall, 
it's going to be all um, <clears throat> customized um, racks, baby racks, because this rack is awesome. The tops are big enough and it's, it's just really great, but it's just 60, it's only 60 something. I can go higher, but I, I really don't want to be on a stool all the time and it's just, it's just inconvenient. So all of this is going to be probably plastic um, racks with like nice um, customized tubs. It's obviously smaller and everything for sale is going to be on that side and all my keepers is going to be on, on this rack. And uh, it'll make it easier just to separate everything that I'm keeping from everything that's for sale. But <clears throat> yeah, guys. So so thanks, thank everybody that you know that took the time to watch the video. Hopefully, it's not too long. Um, obviously, I'm gonna do some time lapse on this thing, um, especially when it's times the uh, the labeling and all the stuff that took like two or three hours. And it looks like a lot of them ate. A lot of them ate, um, if not all. So that's good. And that's it. Hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. A lot more coming. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do. And uh, if you want to see anything from my collection, if you want to see anything about ball constrictors, uh, let me know. And um, I either do this privately with you, or if, an, if it's a complex um, topic, I can do a, <clears throat> I can do a video or whatever. You know. Thanks guys, have a good one.